good morning students i have already started chapter 7 <coughs> now today i am going to start a new topic that is comparison of fractions so children look here how can we compare between two fractions so look carefully suppose it is one thing and six part again the same thing we are taking and same part six okay in this picture we color one box okay and in this picture we color two part so how can we write in fraction children you know so we can write 1 by 6 and for this we can write 2 by 6 so the question is how can you find the bigger from these two numbers so which one is bigger simply you can say the one part is bigger than smaller than two part so if numerator and denominator is equal you see which number is bigger and from this you can compare the two number like this 1 by 6 is smaller than 2 by 6 simply you can do so you can write like this or you can write like this 2 by 6 bigger than 1 by 6 okay in suppose again i am taking one more sum 4 by 5 and 1 by 5 so children you see the same number in denominator so how can we do by seeing the number here 4 is greater so we can write 4 by 5 greater than 1 by 5 or 1 by 5 smaller than 4 by 5 so again one more sum i am taking that is the uh, different denominator look carefully so you see the one more sum and in this sum numerator is same and denominator is different so how can we do the sum 4 by 9 and 4 by so in this sum you see numerator is same and denominator is different so by seeing this picture you can guess that if denominator is bigger so we can write like this 4 by 5 sorry 4 by 9 is smaller than 4 by 11 if uh, we are taking one small example that is the numerator and denominator both are different how can we do suppose i am taking a number 4 1 by 5 and 3 by 4 so see in this sum numerator and denominator both are different and when both are different how can we find the how can we compare the two numbers so first we do cross multiplication okay so 1 by 5 multiply by 4 and 3 by 4 multiply by 5 and after that we take the lcm of this number and lcm is 20 so 1 multiply 4 and 3 multiply by 5 and we can write 4 by 20 and 15 by 20 and after that you get the same denominator and after that you easily find out the 15 by 20 is bigger than 4 by 20 so children by this explanation you can do exercise 7.4 easily number 1 fill in the blanks by putting bigger or smaller sign how can you do question number a 
3 by 11 and 4 by 11. So children, it is very easy. 4 by 11 is bigger than 3 by 11. Now again you see 5 by 8, question number C. And 5 by 16. So 16 is bigger, so we put the bigger sign from 5 by 16 side. So like that you can do question number 1 very easily. Number 2. Number 2 question, um, question is which is the greatest in each of the following pair of the fractions. So from this question you found out, find out the bigger one. Okay. From 2 number I am taking B. 1 by 7 and 3 by 5. Okay. From this you do like that. First we do cross multiplication. 1 multiply by 5 by 7 5s are 35. So it is 5 by 35 and 21 by 35. How can we get 25? 21. 3 7s are 21. And it is 21 by 25. 3 into 7. So you see 21 by 25 is bigger. So by comparing we find out 3 by 5 is bigger than 1 by 7. Now question number 3. Which is the smaller in each of the following pair of the fractions? So it is also very simple and easy children. From this I am taking question number B. Look carefully. 1 by 9 and 1 by 7. So again by cross multiplication you will do. 1 multiply by 7 by 63 and 7 by 63 and after that 1 multiply by 9 by 63 ok so it is 9 by 63 so you see which is smaller so 1 by 7 is smaller ok I hope by this explanation you can do exercise 7.4 very easily so children you will solve in notebook this chapter and send to your class teacher. If any doubt you can ask in WhatsApp group. Thank you.